Hello there, my name is Arahad. Over the years of MMORPGs, there are players who stood out from the rest, whether in a good way or a bad way. In this video, we'll talk about the most famous or popular MMO players, those who left a mark on the games they played, that they have references or in-game items named after them. Number 5. Duriel321 – RuneScape in RuneScape, the wilderness is a world PvP zone where ganking and player killing happen constantly. However, you can only attack players inside of the wilderness, which means that zones outside the wilderness are considered peaceful zones. That is until, on the 6th of June 2006, a player named Duriel321 found a bug involved with the construction skill that allows him to kill players outside of the wilderness. He would often kill unsuspecting players abusing that bug and looting their equipment and gold, to the extent the game moderators started whispering the players, urging them to put their loot and gold in the bank so they won't drop from them when they're killed. Duriel started a literal massacre in an area in the game called Falador. He was disconnected and permanently banned an hour after the massacre. After the incident, a co-founder of Jagex issued a statement apologizing for the inconvenience it caused. Duriel321 is now infamously known as the player who started the legendary Falador Massacre. In a game update that marked the 10 years anniversary of the massacre, Jagex added an NPC named Duriel that will spawn occasionally in Falador. Number 4. Sleeps on Bridges – The Elder Scrolls Online in the MMO Elder Scrolls Online in the world of Tamriel, a world full of conflicts and chaos, in the beautiful city of Alinor, there lies an Argonian. He's not a hero nor a villain. This Argonian is called Sleeps on Bridges. Sleeps on Bridges has turned the act of resting into an art form. All he does 24-7 is rest on a bridge that leads to the city of Alinor. Many players started noticing the presence of the lying Argonian. This player has took a unique and different approach to the game. Instead of questioning and PvPing or following the story, he just lies there doing nothing but resting. As players started noticing his presence for many years, they started admiring and or imitating him. They even started a guild named after him, creating a spontaneous community around a simple bridge. Sleeps on Bridges, a testament to the beauty of simple acts and their ability to create magic in the MMO realm. His presence reminds us of the unexpected adventures and connections that online worlds offer. One day in the year 2020, the Bridge of Alinor, the legendary Argonian, was absent. Although he's never seen again on that bridge, Zenimax has finally decided to add an NPC in his name so that he'll always be remembered. Number 3. Fancy the Bard – EverQuest in the summer of 2001, EverQuest has released Sullen Zek, a PvP server where chaos reigned. With no rules governing players' behavior, the server was filled with brutal player versus player battles. Particularly those brave enough to choose the side of good found themselves outnumbered by evil players. That is, until… Enter Fancy, a simple bard who would change everything. Disheartened by the server's state of balance, Fancy said to The Escapist in 2007, It was marketed as this huge player versus player experience, so naturally all the baddies from other servers gravitated here, role-playing as evil characters, or, in a sense, revealing their true nature. But everywhere the good always triumphed. Cleverly, Fancy discovered two loopholes in the game that he would exploit. Characters below level 6 were safe from the ganking of enemy players due to being unable to be flagged, and that as a level 5 bard, he could control a formidable sand giant mob. Reveling in this newfound power, Fancy stated, I didn't know I'd be able to train a sand giant until I tried it. It was glorious. I was invulnerable and could kill anyone, and it was a great feeling. I giggled the entire time and rolled around in my underwear. The legend was born. Throughout July, Fancy, named after the words Fancy and Pansy, commanded sand giants leading them like a great general. Speeding into enemy areas, he'd unleash destruction, leaving the ganking evil players scrambling at his war cry, Go, go, good team! Occasionally, he'd even issue warnings, proclaiming areas as zones of goodness. 
In the early days of EverQuest, death was costly, resulting in significant setbacks. The evil majority was understandably furious. One outraged player bemoaned, You exploited a loophole and call it bravery. You're the epitome of cowardice. Word spread like wildfire, and elite players gathered to challenge Fancy. But due to his level of 5, he was untouchable. One of Fancy's iconic sayings to the ganking players that he referenced to them as evil were, Warning evil heathens! Since I am a moral man with good ethics, not an evil slime ball like all of you, I am giving you a warning to leave Oasis now. This is a good guy zone. EverQuest developers initially cheered for Fancy. One game master even confirmed that his actions were allowed. But after Fancy's victims cried out in anger, with claims of over 400 players being killed by him, the developers had a change of heart. On July 9th, another GM approached Fancy about his disruptive actions. Following their discussion, the bug Fancy had been exploiting was fixed, yet his legacy had already been solidified. Fancy's audacious three-day escapade earned him a place in MMORPG lore. World of Warcraft even honored him with an NPC named Magus Fancy Goodbringer in Dalaran. When Fancy later visited the game developers, he was welcomed as a star. So, was Fancy a bug abuser and a troublemaker or a visionary? A rule bender or a hero, as he referred to himself? You decide. Number 2. Zizima RuneScape Zizima started playing RuneScape in the year 2001 after one of his friends told him about a game that he will never be good at, RuneScape. Oh, how wrong he was. A legend in his own right, Zizima is a name that will be forever remembered in RuneScape. Once the pinnacle of the high scores, Zizima was not just a top player but a role model for the community as a whole. Zizima was known as the highest ranked person in RuneScape from the year 2004 all the way to 2007. He was also the first player to reach level 99 in the Slayer class with 1 billion experience. One Jagex moderator classified him as arguably the most famous player of the game. While his skills in the game were unmatched, it's his humility and willingness to help and engage with fans that cemented his legacy. For many, Zizima isn't just a player, he's a piece of RuneScape history. Number 1. Leroy Jenkins – World of Warcraft now, let's be honest, this list would never be complete without mentioning the one, the only, Leroy Jenkins. In the year 2005, this World of Warcraft player became an internet sensation overnight, with his ill-timed charge into battle, coining the legendary phrase... Do, uh, All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys, let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Save him! Oh jeez, stick it clean! Oh jeez. His audacious act captured in a video became a meme and a testament to the unpredictability and hilarity that MMOs can offer. Leroy reminds us to all dive headfirst into our passions, even if it means facing a room full of dragon whelps. To further cement his legacy, Blizzard added a card called Leroy Jenkins for its trading card game. They also added an NPC in World of Warcraft, a card in Hearthstone, to further immortalize his name. There you have it, our top 5 MMO players who've not just played the game, but shaped their own legacy in the games they played. From simple acts of rest to legendary feats to thoughtless unplanned charges towards enemies, these players have left an indelible mark, reminding us of the joys, connections and unexpected moments that made MMO World so enchanting.